By the way, the way I express myself is the way I've been talked to. <laughs> Norman Woodstock Spalding. And I'm Breeder. I just, Breeder coming back. This is the way I've been treated. Mm-hmm. Oh, you like me? <laughs> that's, that's what they always ask me as they're blurring into my eyeballs since I was a kid. How do you like me? I, 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 I like you. I like it, I like you. <laughs> so that's why I always ask you that. I had a great instructor. He died. I can't believe it. I'll cry my eyes out forever. The greatest instructor that ever walked the globe, I got to brush by once. Long time ago. He lived with me forever. He'll live with me forever. Oh, yeah, he will. I regret I didn't get the time. I just didn't have the brains and time to go tell him how much I appreciated him. Before he died. I noticed the remarks about I never used the word dead. He died. Big difference between that and dead. Thurl McClanahan never dead. Who was a part of the truth. And he lived it. And he shared it. And he's never dead. And his body always lives. And it lives with me all the time. My mind. Picks me up in the morning. Astounding. I'm very fortunate to cross that man's path. That isn't what I came to talk to you about, is it? <laughs> Every time I think of him, I go, I'm off, I'm staring at Marley's door knocker. I could sit and stare at Marley's door knocker all day. I mean, Marley's face on my door knocker. It's appeared so many times to me. Some of the wonderful times, just the short period of time I have with that man, come across my thoughts all the time. And I really, I didn't treasure enough to where I remember it's broken up in bits and pieces. And Man, I'm mad at me. <laughs> I wish I'd have remembered every second in that dojo. I never got to know him personally, only as a student. And as a student, it, the man stays with me. And he turned me on to a student that's something much more than himself. That's why. Because what I'm enjoying is the living experience as a student with something that, that he certainly did more than I, only that I, my little fragment, I've had a wonderful time with that, and it's because he shared it and showed it to me. He did. It's the truth, only it's engaging it somewhat. And that man helped me engage it, the living of it. And man, I know that and I treasure him because I was very, very apprehensive about living at all before I met him. And he took a lot of that off my head like a bag. And I'll always treasure him. Like... He told you he'd never be a hero. Arlington Cemetery's full of him. He's not a hero. He's not. I wouldn't ever call that man a hero. I'd be horrible. We hated that term. We told you not the hero. The cemetery's full of him. You come back. You're not even known. You do more good than heroes. A lot more. They're dead. Once you're a hero, you're dead. Living or not. What can you do after that? What do you get to say once you're a hero? What? They'll pick apart everything you say. You have any private time? They got you on your mind. You're, you're in their head all the time. Get out of their head. What do they know about you? Nothing. You're remembered by hypocrites as a hero. Who wants to be? You want to be adored by hypocrites? Do ya? Why do ya? You think your maker ever gets sick of hypocrites adoring it? How does that make you feel? Nothing but a goddamn liar bragging on you. Like that idea? That's what your creator goes through all the time. 
Because you're not having a confession to your Creator. You're a liar bragging on your Maker. Makes your Maker sick. You think your Maker's so small. You're an idiot. Got it? Face on the floor, now! Hypocrite! Got it? I command you, move! Or you'll never get lower than me. I'll affirm you. I'm bigger than all of you at it. I bow a lot lower. May God damn my soul for failing you!